Hey everybody, this is Nova, and welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft. It is episode number six, and today I thought I'd wear a wizard cap, because today we're going to be making some magic. Okay, not really, but I just thought it looked really awesome. So let's get into it. For those of you guys who don't know who these little gals are, you've probably seen them throughout my episodes every so often. But these are my two dogs, Pippi and Poppy. Yeah, they're pups right now, so... Eh, they'll grow up one of these days. I did have another dog on episode one, but it died. And that was a sad day. I'm pretty sure it died when I when it tried to save me from direwolves killing me, even though they killed both of us. So this dog, Pippi, has been with me since episode two. Because this was a dog that I got after my old one died, because I needed some companionship. And then I think Poppy, I'm not really sure which episode, but we got her along the way as well. So these are my two great dogs. So these two are awesome. They'll be helping us out sometime during our projects. They'll be just, they'll be just around. You'll see them in the video. I'll try to have them in the videos more often because they're just so awesome. Maybe I should get some cats too. Hmm. Oh, uh, no, uh, I we don't need cats. I was just kidding. So, last episode, we worked on this. And I put some mob heads up to uh, sort of decorate the place, although I'm going to be needing a lot more if that's the case. But it takes a little bit of time to get these. This thing only works when I put coal in here, into this, to power this. And uh, since then, I've put a lot of coal into here. So we're going to check out the results. Yeah. That's a lot of ender pearls, and actually, I could change these into ender pearls as well. There we go. And as for the chicken room, I have taken out a few chickens to start some more breeding process. Because, uh, put them over here. Oh, and we already got them hatched. We got some coal chickens. See, this? these are the chickens that I want to use to place over here. Instead of a chest, we'll put a nesting pen so that the coal chicken can poop coal right into the furnace generator and that will continuously power the mob farm and we'll just get tons of ender pearls maybe we'll find uh... some other mobs to put into here uh, like switch it out but i think we have to switch out this block to get it to work like we just make a new mob controller and put a new mob prism in there So. We can do that if we want to get some, like, zombie heads or, or creeper heads, you know, to put into this room. But until then, we'll just wait for the cold chicken to be, uh, be ready. Let's breed up these bad boys. That, that, come on. So will give me that chicken egg. And those guys will give me that chicken egg. Alright, so, oh, cool, so four and five. So growth 4, gain 4, strength 5. So we're getting there. We're getting there, people. Now I'll place these there so that they will hatch while we're playing. And we're off to the next thing. Look at that moon. Not a full moon, but it's still definitely a beaut. So today I wanted to work in this room. And uh, if you guys don't know where this is, it's basically right here. I actually changed the elevator block to a light blue because, well, <laughs> I could never see the white blocked elevator because it would blend in with this floor, which is temporary, the floor, I mean, because, well, we still don't know how to design this, this main room. But we're just going to not worry about that for now. Today, we're going to be working in this room because, you know what, I made this room a while back maybe a few episodes back, and I told you guys it was going to be like an exit. Well, it is, because, I mean, if you look behind me, you can see that there's the exit to the outside going in that direction. But this area here was actually supposed to be more like the home base. This is going to be where I'm going to put all of my storage and my bed and the furnaces, the alloy smelters, the sagmos, all, all those different machines will be down here. As you can tell, that looks really bad. But I've gotten used to it because that's been there since pretty much the beginning. 
and uh, you know that too you know we're gonna get rid of that we're gonna place this all down here and we'll put our you know we'll put everything in, in in this room right here as well so we can definitely like seal that up we won't need to go in there we could just come down here and sleep and uh, you know everything will be good and we'll have all of our storage as well I'm definitely looking forward to upgrading our storage so that we don't have to constantly look through chests and hermitrons to find things but that might be for a different episode hopefully we can get something started in this one but we'll see I'll also be working on a design pattern at some point because I definitely want this room to look the best so I'm gonna start working on this and I'll see you guys in a sec alright so I've taken care of all the chests except for this one which I'm gonna take with this chest transporter and I'm gonna put that into my backpack and as you can tell I have all of the chests in here and all the hermitrons that I have acquired over this entire let's play so now I'm gonna take them down here and I'll fix I'll fix this soon like I actually just gotta figure out where I placed these blocks in which chest so now I'm just gonna I guess I'm just gonna like lay them around here kind of just lazily for now because I can't really I have no design pattern of where to put them. Uh, maybe they can go on this wall. Yeah, because that's where they would be on this side, so... Yeah, we'll just put them there for now. So let's get them all out. Uh, actually, let's put the Hermitrons on this side. Get all those. Oh, wow, we have a lot of Hermitrons. So, how do we want to do this? How many are there? Well, we'll just start placing them down, and we'll change it later because I can't even... I can't even hold them all in in my inventory. Ah, we almost had it. There we go. Now that looks kind of better. Let's get the chests now. Oh man, you guys ever get that feeling when you're lifting up heavy boxes that uh, you just get sick all of a sudden? Yeah, I don't get it either. Let's just start plopping these down. Oh, whoops. Uh, see, this just looks bad. And I just realized I placed this on the wrong side. I did not realize that that was the back. So we're going to put them over here. There we go, that looks nice. And we're going to fix this as well. We'll just need a few more chest transporters all right so that is moved and actually we could do with moving them a little bit more this way but it's not really supposed to be perfect we're going to organize these and move these into a better location so that's going to be different but for now we're just going to work on designing the rest of this area to see what needs to go in and also designing this staircase down here maybe make a door here or something like that this is definitely not going to be a one block staircase, it's going to be five blocks. So we're going to we're going to start carving that out and I'll get back to you guys in a second. All right, so I have cleared out this little room and the last thing I need to do is get rid of this thing and bring the dogs downstairs. So for now, I'm just going to get them in a net. And let's go check this out. All right, so we saw the chest before and the Hermitrons, and this is where everything is set up for now. I guess I'll just pop the bed. Where would I, where am I going to put this? I'll just put this over like in this corner. There we go. That's where I'll be sleeping. And I place the dogs. There's one right here. And I guess one over here. There we go. So Pippi's in that corner, Poppy's over here. And this is kind of a jumbled up mess, but this is all the stuff that I have acquired over the episodes. So, yeah. So for now, what I want to focus on is design aspect. Like how this room is going to look. Because basically, it's just going to be a staircase that goes down. And I'm going to have a door here. Probably a huge door. 
And then this is kind of just going to be a transitional room. Like, there's not really going to be much else in here. All of the farms are going to be over here, or all the different rooms. But this will be kind of just like a safe room for me, and also a way to get out that way. But it's just going to need to be designed a little bit better. So I'm going to work on using this block, the factory block. And once I, f once I find my chisel, I can show you guys what you can do with this block. Seriously, where is my chisel? I must be blind. I cannot find it. Oh, here it is. Here's the chisel. I don't remember why I brought the chisel up with me in the wood farm. Huh. Well, maybe I just forget what I used it for, but still, I'm surprised that it was all the way up here. So anyway, let's look at what you can do with this factory block. Look at all the different designs of this factory block, and it's fairly cheap. Like, again, most of the blocks that I was using for this area were kind of cheap blocks, mainly because I don't have that the ability to get a lot of the expensive blocks really quickly at the moment. And this is a temporary base, so I mean... Why not just use cheap and easy blocks that look fairly nice? So I figured, let's start with one of these, because you can get, like, you just you need stone and iron, and you can get 32 from, like, 4 stone and 4 iron. That's really, really nice. And you get all these really interesting looking blocks. And I mean, first thing is this one really stood out to me. Kind of looking to maybe that make this the floor. I don't know, let's, let's see how this looks. I mean, that honestly looks really, not really good as a wall, like, let's, let's see how this looks. Uh, hmm. That looks very dark for the wall. I mean, this block already looks really bright and exciting, but it looks dark as well. I want that darkness on the floor, especially since our light blue elevator is also blue. It would fit nicely with the theme, I think. So let's try a different thing. <laughs> this block looks a lot like a clownfish. Hmm. Wonder where they got that idea. Now this block is interesting as well. It's like a fire block. Actually, it kind of looks like the other block, except they just made it orange and red. More, like, warm colors. Yeah, I don't like that as a floor. And as the wall... Probably not either. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fiddle with this for a few minutes, and I'll get back to you guys with a block palette. So... This is something that I enjoy doing, is instead of just finding a few blocks that I like, I'll just put up a bunch of different blocks, even if I'm not like super into them, but just to see how they fit with whichever design I'm going for. And like I said before, I do still want to use that blue block, that's sort of in like the mi middle to the left, because it matches the elevator block. You know, blue, blue, it, you know, it, it makes sense to fit with that theme. So I noticed that I'm going to go with that block for the ground. I don't want to use a similar block for the wall, because I do want it to contrast a bit. So I was thinking about that yellow black, that yellow block with the black lines in it, and directly in like the middle. But that might seem too bright. And I do like that orange block. But the orange color is complementary of blue. And in some designs that does work, but I'm not really sure I want that to be the design for now. So I'm still kind of thinking about stuff. And basically this is how the process goes. I'll just kind of cover certain sections with my hand and see how it compares to the block next to it or to the block on the other side or above and see how they work together. After seeing some of these blocks and how they kind of look like pillars when they're stacked vertically, I kind of want to do that, you know, like put 
put them on the corners of the walls. I think that would be pretty interesting. And then we also need a ceiling. So, I really don't know about the ceiling because the ceiling, the ceiling usually isn't something that is that important in the design. I mean, most people don't really put that much time into it because it isn't really something that you're staring at all the time. The ground is something that you're definitely going to be looking at because you'll be looking at like a crafting table or something that's in the ground to interact with it, like a block. And of course the walls you see all the time. So I'm not sure. I'm still not sure. I'm still working on working out a block palette, but I think I have definitely gotten a lot closer. Now that I've laid out the blocks like this, instead of having to look at them in here, you know, you know, when you want to actually see the blocks in real life or in, in the game, it's easier to just place a bunch down. And yeah, I didn't place a lot. I pretty much only placed two of each and then one of this one, but I think that's enough. This block looks very similar to this block the first block that you get from crafting it. And I don't know, it's, what is it, it's, is it purplish or something? Or I don't know, that one's purplish. So, I mean, that seems like a really interesting color. I'm not really sure if that should, that's probably not going to be a wall now that I think about it. That could be the ceiling. If we have a dark ceiling, we sort of want the ceiling to not contrast with the ground. So, a dark block like this, or like this, and then even that, but I don't think I want to go with that because, you know, that's the default style. I do like the fans, I, again, I, these these two blocks right here, the fans and this flywheels block, it could be something similar in, in design to when we did this. Like this would be like a pillar and a pillar, and this would be some sort of like, I don't know, square block or circle block or something like that, that sort of shows off like a little emblem of some sort, and that's kind of what... Well, that's especially what this one does, and even to some extent, this. This block is insulation. I, this block actually looks really interesting, because it's almost... I don't even know how to explain why. It kind of looks like it's been corroded. I think for now, I'm going to focus on placing blocks into their specific area, and we'll see what looks good. So we're just outside, outside this tunnel, because I finished the room. As you can tell, there's like some weird glitch. Like now you can see the ceiling of the room, but then when you look up, you see the ceiling of the room above it. Doesn't really make any sense, but uh, I have finished, to, my, to the best of my ability, I have finished 
the room. And now we're going to walk up these stairs. Actually, we're going to jump up these stairs. And I will show you what I have done. But first, I'm going to look down so you don't see it until we are already in. Weirdly enough, I didn't even realize that this side part actually blends in with this, so it actually makes it look better. Although, one of the things that is kind of bothering me a bit is this blends in, this blends in, these blend in with the wall. I mean, these are great, this side is great, this side is great, this side is like, what just happened? So, I'm not really sure, it also kind of seems like there's not enough light. Maybe that's what needs to happen? Maybe I should light this up even more? Mm. At some point, I'll get some glowstone, and I'll use the painting machine to paint, you know, one of these as glowstone, so that it will light up a lot better. So I think for now, that that's a really good, uh, you know, a really good design. Let's like, let's look, let's compare. Oh, well, let's compare. I think that's pretty good. I mean, I really enjoy this design because it's very basic, but at the same time, I really like this design as well. At least the colors. Colors are nice. I kind of wish that these were a little bit brighter and less musty. Maybe in the future, if we find a block that's similar to this and, you know, isn't so kind of like dirty in texture, maybe just a little bit more uniform, we could try that. Or maybe we can just make it less uniform and sort of you know dot around some other textured blocks just to make it look more interesting I mean who knows we'll see if you guys want me to stick with this uniform pattern then comment down below about that and if you want me to vary it up with other types of blocks and stuff like that also comment that down below but for now I think we're pretty much finished with this room in terms of design now we have to sort of organize this a bit better. And one of the ways that I wanted to start doing that this episode were these things. This is called an inscriber logic press. Now these are, I think there's four different types of logic press, but it's from the applied energistics mod. It is a way for us to get a better way to store item by being able to put them on these storage cells and then we could access them through one of these, like a terminal. In which case we could have all of our items pulled into one, you know, central, you know, processing unit. And we'll, we won't have to rely on these chests all the time. And we could probably move all these chests and hermitrons around to make room for more machines and more whatever. I do want to make this room sort of the central hub for all of the farms. So if we go over here, you know, like the, these chests won't be here anymore. And, and this, this, uh, you know, this, this farm up here will just send its items down, you know, down into the main storage area. And, uh, that one won't be connected because that doesn't really need it. This one, the chicken farm will send its eggs and, um, maybe not the eggs. Maybe we'll, we'll probably have a main storage system and then we'll have some, some drawers around that store items that would just overflow the main storage system but we can still have them and then they would just have uh, void upgrades on them so that they could store as much as they want but if they store too much then it'll void it'll, it'll delete them we could also put you know the drops from this farm as well and maybe if we have some more wood farms that we create they'll also connect as well and same for whatever goes in here. We could probably get a sugarcane farm going, and a wheat farm going, and whatever other farm we want. The way that we find these inscriber presses is we go out into the world and we find meteorites. Now, I think we should be able to see some on the map. Aha! So something like this, over here. Basically, there's a giant crater in the ground, and there is this structure made out of stuff called sky blocks. And inside the sky blocks is a sky block chest. And inside of that, you'll get a random, you know, uh, inscriber press or whatever one of those things are called. And by using those, 
we can make using using these things we can make the items from applied energistics along with the, the fluix crystals and the certus crystals we should be able to make a lot of the different items from here i know that these require these little things right here which require diamond they require this inscriber machine so we'll probably work on a little bit more of that in the next episode because i do want to finish this up but i think for now ugh, wow they're waiting for me aren't they they really are i'm this is this is very dangerous i think for now what i want to do is i want to continue this design or something like this design down here and I'm going to definitely look for some good stair blocks and we're gonna make this little hallway thing down here look good and then I want to sort of make a door to seal off any any mobs from coming in so sadly during the last clip my computer actually ran out of memory so a huge chunk of the last video was lost and I didn't realize it was happening, so I just kept recording. But to recap on what I did, I started working on the staircase, and I started working on the colors that I wanted to work on. This was what I worked was working on. I went out and made some cyan concrete and, and light blue concrete to make the stairs, so it looks like a carpet going down. And then I just put stone brick stairs um, on the sides, so as to complement this factory block design that we're going to use. So it's kind of like this is a combination of this and that. So it kind of works out that way. So as for the walls of this, I'm going to just continue to use this factory block here. And then we'll use this vent block as a means to separate the designs as it goes down. So as for this, this might become like an archway to show off, you know, the entrance to our base. And we're going to have a little path that goes along around here and we'll have a few houses some of them will be for aesthetic purposes some of them might be little farms we'll, we'll see what happens when we start uh, building down here but other than that that is all the time that I have for filming today uh, I'm gonna work on finishing this between the next episode and this one and maybe starting to lay out some of the designs for the outside part but with all that being said, this is the end of the episode. If you like what you watch, click that like button. And if you really want to see more, definitely subscribe. See you later.